morning, everybody. Jason, PJ, Hollis Farms. Boy, I tell you, I hate when I have to ride all the way down here and I miss the hog. Golly, it drives me nuts. This, uh, where we missed last night is a long, pretty long way from, uh, where we missed the other one, where we moved the panel trap to. Oh, uh, I don't know. It, it possibly could be the same hog. I didn't even really think about it because it is so far away. Uh, as the crow flies, it's not too bad. It very well could be. He acts like this hog. Golly. That Sargon's got a jet pack in his rear end. That's all I got to say. I'm gonna go down here and reset the drop trap and I'm gonna set it as low as possible. I don't think I'm gonna dig a hole yet. I really think that is a good idea. Just the, the trap's set up in the middle of my road and I really don't want to uh, dig a hole. So I th I'm not gonna have time to do it all today but I'm gonna reset the drop trap and about a about a hundred yards. PJ wearing Santa Claus out. I don't know how much longer he can last. Oh, about a hundred yards from where the drop trap is, I have uh, have a feeder with a camera on it, and I'm getting a picture of the two sows and all the little ones, and I was getting a picture of this boar hog that we missed. Oh. Uh, so, I'm, like I said, I'm not going to get it all done today, but I think as bad as I don't want to, but I hadn't getting, been getting any action around the panel trap, I'm going to try to get around there and bait it back up this morning and uh, <clears throat> watch it for a little bit. I'm not going to, I may have time tomorrow, but anyway, probably put a half a tub of corn or something in it and just kind of watch it, but hadn't been getting any there, so as bad as I hate to. I am going to, uh, no more hogging than it is left now. It's going to be a pretty good bit of work when we, sometimes when we find them. Since they won't go under the drop trap, I'm going to take this, uh, take the panel trap, maybe tomorrow, and uh, move it over there where I'm getting these pictures and let it sit and soak a while and see if we can get lucky there. I don't, I don't know. But that one joker, he is some kind of fast guy. But you want to think it's the same hog, and it may be the more I think about it. But anyway, the long dreaded ride to raise the trap back up, and ain't nothing in it. Part of it, it's gonna happen if you do enough. Do enough of it. It's kind of like bow hunting or something like that. You hunt enough, you're gonna miss one. Part of it. Here's what I decided to do. I am going to at least get the panel trap loaded up on the trailer. And if I've got time, I'm going to go ahead and set it up. Because I think we're supposed to be getting some rain. And uh, no need it sitting somewhere where it ain't any action. Alright, y'all got the panel trap loaded up, strapped down. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to have time to get it put up today, too. I forgot my... Uh, tool bag. I don't need any, the only tool I need for the uh, um, panel trap is the, my hammer and to put my T-post in to hang the camera on and I forgot it. So I'll run back by the barn and get that and then we'll see. Yeah, I think I got time to get her set up today. set it up like that in the middle of the woods trees around I think that that might make it a little easier for them to go in I don't know we'll see so I 
I couldn't stream it. I ain't, it, it's working, but I don't have enough service with my phone to stream it, so I have to get out here and try that. I think the camera will be pointed good. Got the drop trap back up, and I set it as low as I could. I don't know. I don't hold that. It's just fast. That's all I got to say. Maybe we'll get lucky. Them two traps is probably 100, 150 yards apart. Not far at all, so been getting pictures every afternoon and every night of another big pretty good group of hogs so maybe we can do some good they've been whooping on us lately all right y'all here we go big wild hog action this is a big old boar hog and uh I, I didn't think it was but this may be the the hog that we titled the world's fastest hog uh, he's not just never really relaxed keeps looking keeps looking but this is the same one that he came in there just before I got up the day before this or whatever it was and, but I felt real confident <clears throat> I thought he was gonna walk off there for a minute but then he kind of settles back down I mean I feel felt just super confident that we was just fixing maybe I was too confident but y'all watch this That joker, that is a lightning fast hog if I ever seen one. I don't know what we're going to do about this joker. He is just, if it is the same one, he's wearing me out. All right, me and PJ is loaded back up. She's working on the bone on the rope. Being a pretty good little girl. She is a mess. And, uh, had a pretty good little morning, got the panel trap moved. I just streamed it a minute ago. I thought it wasn't working for a minute, but it finally got to going. I, I think I like where it is. That camera's a little different than the other two. It just don't, I'm gonna carry it to them one day and uh, let them cut it on and let them see if there's an issue. It's just, the color and all, it's just not as good. And I took it apart and cleaned it and made sure that wasn't what it was. But anyway, I'm gonna do that one day. Got the drop trap raised back up. I got it low as it can go. I don't know. That boy hog probably, he might come back. This same one, he sure been teasing us. But uh, got that done. And, uh, man, is that dude not lightning fast? I mean, he can get some yonder. That one right there would be tough to catch with a pack of dogs. You'd have to run him smooth nearly to death. It nearly be cooked by the time you caught him. Anyway, I have got to get back. I got some stuff I got to go do with the family here in a little while. So I am, I ain't late yet, but I don't need no hiccups. I'll be late. So we are hustling on back and uh, I'm going to have to call it a day on this one as bad as I hate to. Anyway, appreciate y'all watching.